In this video, I'll show you how to make cross tabulations in Stata. Cross tabulations summarize the relationship between two discrete variables. In this example, I'm comparing the distribution of people's educational attainment and their beliefs on abortion for reasons of poverty. The comparison suggests that people with higher education are more tolerant of, of others electing to have abortions for reasons that they can't afford a child. To create cross tabulations, we use the command tab for tabulate. The syntax for this command is tab space the name of the variable that you want represented as rows and space the name of the variable that you want represented in columns. For example, to create that earlier table that compared educational attainment and abortion attitudes, we type in tab space degree to make the degrees the rows in the table and space abort poor to make attitudes towards abortion for reasons of poverty in the columns. If you use the tab command without options, then Stata will report the table with frequencies. Frequencies mean the number of respondents who answered that combination of uh, educational attainment and abortion attitude questions. As we can see, it's hard to draw strong inferences from raw frequency counts. For that reason, we often use the optional commands. I'll discuss five subcommands. The subcommand RO for row asks data to report relative frequencies across rows. In this table, degree is our row variable. Using the RO command, we'll get the percentage of people in each educational category who agree or disagree with abortion for reasons of poverty. The CO option is short for column. It asks data to report relative frequencies across columns. In this example, we get the percentage of people who agree with abortion for reasons of poverty according to each educational level. We see that about 9% of the people who agree with abortion for these reasons come from graduate school, and about 19% did not complete high school. Likewise, for those, among those who oppose abortion for reasons of poverty, only 4% of these supporters come from graduate, uh, graduate school graduates, and about 29% come from high school dropouts. The option cell asks data to report relative frequencies across each cell. In other words, it will give us the percentage of the entire sample that is represented in each of the individual cells. So for example, this table says that about 4.25% of all survey respondents finish graduate school and support abortion for reasons of poverty. Only 2.06% of the sample finish graduate school and opposes poverty. The option no F asks Stata to suppress frequencies. This is useful for making tables more readable when all you care about are percentages. This is an example of a table that reports frequencies across rows without the frequency command. When we suppress frequencies, there's less information in the table. It's easier to read, and it focuses on percentages, which we might, only, might be the only thing we care about. Using the MI command, which is short for missing, ask data to show rows or columns for missing values. Let's review. To produce two-way frequency tables, use the command tab. The syntax is tab, space, the name of the row variable, space, the name of the column variable. You can use options like row, co, cell, no f, and mi to manipulate the information that's presented in the table. For more information on the tab command, type help tab in the state of command window. 